my gosh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, uh, you plan that? You plan that. Bro, what? Well, What's going uh, on, boy? Had to make it up. And that's that's crazy, time, so. bro. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Holy. I thought we were getting robbed. <laughs> Jesus, bro, that's lit. YouTube, what is going on? We literally just hopped off of stage right now. This is going to be the post show video. So these are not gonna be the show day videos. We're gonna cook those up. Those are gonna take a little bit of time, but I wanted to document everything that we're going to do tonight and tomorrow morning because we are literally running back another prep in Tampa Bay. So welcome to the video. This is gonna be the intro. This is gonna be the first thing we eat. We started off hot with some Buckeye brownies. So. Y'all are gonna get like a little POV action cause I'm gonna do it to this camera right here. But of course, I cannot forget about y'all. Y'all are gonna be in the background, so. Let's go, first YouTube, come check this out. Oh, diabetes! <laughs> Holy cow, that is diabetes in a square. Let's put the flash on the, on that one, wrong. Or no. Whatever. Which one do I want? YouTube, which one do I get? Leave it in the comments. I think I want this butter finger. Okay, I'm starting. I have no patience for this. Oh. Um, I'm crashing out, man. All right. I'm gonna look at this before I show them this reel. Can I even bite into that? Yeah, I can. All right, ready? We literally just hop up. Ready? We literally just hop up. Why can't I do it with, the with this phone? <laughs> this is a POV. You're getting the POV right now. <laughs> we just hopped off of stage for summer shredding. We just hopped off the stage. <laughs> oh my God, just eat the cookie, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited. We just hopped off the stage for Summer Shredding Championship. This is gonna be our post-show treat. We got a Buckeye Brownie. I don't even know what flavor this is, but this is Butterfinger. Let's dive into this thing, because this thing looks insane. Cheers, first bite, 15 week prep, ton of medals this weekend, cheers. Oh yeah. Bro! She's got a cookie in there. Oh! She's taking over. We're gonna do one more bite out of this one. This one's insane. This one is insanely good. We're keeping this going. I'll edit it. Brownie number two, the name is gonna be on the screen right now. Cheers, this one looks crazy. This feels so wrong, but feels so right. That is good. Next one. Brownie number three. Brownie number three. Let's try it out. Oh, Oreo in the middle, Reese's on top. This one's number one right now. Mmm. Peanut butter for sure. Yeah, this one's hidden. This one's definitely hidden. Almost did a second bite, but we got one more to try.
crashing out right now. I can't, I'm like too excited. <laughs> final, final Bucky, Bucky? <laughs> final Buckeye brownie of the night. We got this one right here. Let's just dive into it. I gotta get a little bit of that Hershey in there. Those are him. Way better than Crumble. We are two days out from my next show. My name is Big J. You may also know me as James. Let me take y'all through my day. Quick little update for you guys. If you guys did not know, I did compete in summer shredding this past weekend. I competed in a qualifying show and then I competed in the championships show. So literally four days after that, we are running back another show. And then this is the full day of eating slash vlog that's going to follow that. I recorded, this is so heartbreaking. I recorded everything I ate and everything I did after the show, like vlog style, and I was gonna put that out for you guys, but the videos got corrupted. But for this video, we are in Tampa Bay. We are two days out, and this is going to be an OCB show. So first order of business, we're gonna get ready, and we're going to get some coffee, because if you watch these vlogs, especially in peak week, that nitro cold brew is the only thing I look forward to in the mornings. So let's go get that. The beautiful thing about where we chose our Airbnb is that there is a Starbucks literally on the same road. So that is super clutch. Also, Tampa, this is coming from Texas, by the way. Tampa is extremely humid. First thing you notice right when you get off the plane is that this place is humid. As soon as we were raving about how excited we were about this Starbucks, it is under renovation the entire time we will be out here. That is crazy. Luckily, there is a Panera. I hope they have black coffee. I really don't need anything fancy. Just something to wake your boy up. This tastes absolutely horrible. So with that being said, we will still drink it because we need that caffeine. But let's whip up meal one and two. I want to eat two meals and then Bree and I are going to head shopping. And I'm going to take y'all because I want to show y'all everything. I want to show y'all exactly what I'm trying to do with my style, everything I buy, everything that she buys. We are taking you guys along for this entire journey two days out. So let's go eat this meal and let's get ready for the mall. We have meal number one and two prepared for us right here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat two meals at once just so we can go ahead and get on the road and shop a little bit and enjoy our day basically. So we have two servings of white rice and we have two servings of chicken and then we also get a little bit of peanut butter. This is going to be the meal for today. Of course with today we get no salt, we get no seasoning, we get no artificial sweeteners and we get very minimal water. So yeah, that's kind of what the day is gonna look like. It's just gonna be a lot of white rice, chicken, and a little bit of peanut butter on the side. But essentially this is the day where me personally, I do a lot of the carb loading on this day. We try to get a look and then we maintain it on Friday and then Saturday morning. Of course, Friday we do have some things that we do at night to help with that. So yeah, this is gonna be a good day of just a lot of food, a lot of volume, which of course we don't have salt or seasonings, but I think the food volume definitely makes up for that. So let's get y'all a little taste test of the food that we're about to down for this entire day. By the way, I don't know if you saw the little setup that we have going back there, but we basically have like a little plug in the wall almost like a George Foreman type stove top. I think that's pretty sick. This Airbnb is so small, it doesn't have a stove, but we're doing whatever we can. Um, and it's a nice little setup, man. I, I, don't, I don't mind it at all. So chicken and rice going down the hatch, 
Chicken and rice going down the hatch. Cheers. Not half bad. Meal number three is underway. As you can see, we got on a new fit. I'll give you all a fit check here in a sec. But guys, it's gonna be a lot of the same foods today, right? Just in different quantities. I would say this is a moderate amount of rice compared to probably what we're going to get later throughout the day. It also depends on what coach says um, and what he thinks of my physique and what he thinks will work in that period of time. So chicken, rice, and yeah. Got ready for the mall. I'm expecting that we're gonna be gone for like four or five hours. What is going on you guys? Welcome to the Tampa Bay Airbnb tour. Come on in, let me show you around. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? Bree and I are very minimalists, okay? No matter how much money we make, we're always trying to save you know, money where we can. So this place is very simple, but let me just tell y'all, it's everything we need. It is going to get the job done. More than likely, we're not gonna be spending a lot of time in here. So instead of prioritizing a good big spot, we would much rather put that money into, you know, shopping or experiences, food, things of that nature. So we'll go ahead and head over here. We have the kitchen. As you saw when I was cooking up meal one and two, we have like a little George Foreman type stove top thing. We don't even have an oven or a stove. But like I said, we're getting it done. We have no complaints over here. Little fridge, microwave, kitchen area. And then this is gonna be the dining room table right here. We have a little bit of space for clothes right there. And literally two steps over here, we got the little bedroom area. We got an office, little night desk, couch right there. Hold on, special reveal on the pants or the shorts I'm gonna wear on Saturday, bang, bang. We got the orange. So, in the beginning of the season, I bought three pairs of shorts. As you can see from the qualifying show and the championship show, I had red, I had white and blue, and then I had orange. And I think I picked the colors perfectly. The first show was the red shorts, and I feel like it just matched the backdrop really good. The white and blue was really clean, really aesthetic. It fit the championship show perfectly. I feel like Tampa being like a beach city or like a, you know, Florida, Florida vibes. I thought the orange would match this vibe perfectly. So these are what we are going to rock on Saturday right there. We got the TV, we got the little desk thing, and then we just got a little restroom over here, guys. It's literally probably 400 square feet, maybe less. But again, this is everything that we need. This is perfect for me and Bree. So that's gonna be the Airbnb tour. We crushed meals one, two, and three. So now all we gotta do is enjoy the rest of the day. By the way, calm little fit check before we buy more clothes. We got camo pants. We got the 550 New Balances. And then we got a cream shirt from Alpha Elite. I had no clue, no idea that they were arranging this. That was absolutely crazy, but yeah. let's go, man. In the flesh. see this man in action. This is the first time he gets to see your boy in action, so that's exciting. Fourth We're done. show? Fifth show. Fifth? If you want to count the double. Yeah, it's the double. I guess so, that's technically two shows. Yeah, yeah this is going to be best package to date. Damn. Damn. Weak-ass chip, bro. Okay. Strong Christmas. Fourth best in the nation. Literally what it says. Not his guess. Oh wait, no. Is he guess? A week tip for real. Let me have a bite. Uh oh. No, his guess. That fourth bite. That looks bad. It's good. You want a taste test? You want a taste test? Okay, we'll go bubble go off. One to ten. Like a seven. It's actually really good. Ooh, that got a hit. Mm -hmm. 7's kind of low, I feel like. Yeah, 7 is low. What are you rating it? I've only had one other place to bring a taco, and this is the best one, so I'm going to give it a 9. We had to make up for the Panera coffee that we had this morning. That was terrible. So we had to get a nitro cold brew. This one is not from Starbucks, so I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's not as good, but it's a lot better than Panera. So 16 ounces to the dome. Jay, tell us exactly where we are and what we did. Uh, we're outside. 
We're doing bad shit with We're our doing friends. Bad things right now. <laughs> We're at the Louis Vuitton store. James just spent like three racks. <laughs> he's going crazy. It's. I think it's. He's just pissed off because he's got to compete as an amateur. So he's just mad at him right now. <laughs> but he's got some sunglasses. He bought me a belt, which he didn't have to do. And then he bought his wifey. Uh, well, we haven't we haven't got to that point yet. But we're going to. I'm shout still out. on the fence. Hey, <laughs> shout out my nigga Dallas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, All right, this is Dallas. Tell us what we did. Uh, it's shopping spree and. Uh, <laughs> and uh, He's a good salesman. Congratulations on your performance tonight or tomorrow. Wish you all the best. Alrighty gang, we made it back to the B&B. &B. Now it's time for a little haul. As y'all saw by the clips, we made some bad decisions today. So we're gonna kick it off with Bree. What did you end up getting? Got these two, but that's the least important of anything. Show the people what they want to see. So before we dive into this big bag, I bought this in Hawaii right before I stepped on the stage, right before we got engaged. And unfortunately, some of the stitching was peeling off, so the guy noticed it and just gave me a brand new one and exchanged it. So that was really cool. And then, as an anniversary oh, slash... Oh, you just Christmas. say some guy? Okay, Who's Dallas. Dallas Who's is not guy? just some guy. Honestly, he was probably the best like concierge salesman. Dallas now. is Mr. Studio Louis Girl. Vuitton. <laughs> That's crazy. Show the <laughs> but this is my new toy. That's insane. Again, it's like it's a, a big box right yeah, there. Yeah, it's a massive box, bigger than the pillows. So let me give you guys a little reveal of everything or what this consists of. So, guys, she's absolutely gorgeous. This is a Sheesh. never full. I got this print, and then it's nice and lined with red on the inside. That red goes crazy. It was, nice. be yeah, it was between this one or this print, but we decided that this one looks great. This is the small Neverfull because the big one would have been, it would have looked too funny on me. So this one fits me perfect, and it's my new toy. So thank you, babe. Come on, let's go. Alrighty, I had no intentions of whatsoever buying something. I'm not gonna lie to you, but <laughs> saw these bad boys. It was like, I just had to. So my deal was, I told Jay, I'm like, hey, if these are 500, I'm buying them. They ended up being 540. Wait, I thought it was 640. Was it 640? <laughs> they were 640. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try to make it, sen make it make sense in my mind. Yeah, we just got them, guys. We did some bad things, I'm telling y'all. But these glasses go absolutely crazy. I did like Alright, grand reveal. Wrong side. Bang. Yes, sir. With a little detail in the front. I mean, these are insane. Boom. Oh yeah. Right there. There it is. So that's what I got. <laughs> Jay? I'll take them off. I mean I technically didn't get it. It was it was well for me. And this is this is what sparked all this, you realize this, right? Yeah. Yes. Is that we were in full out here. I don't even know what the I story know. was, he's like, because I'm the same way. Well, I guess I was the same way, <laughs> but I wanted a Louis belt, and I couldn't get myself to spend 600, whatever, 650 on a belt. That's just, that's crazy. crazy. So I had Bree buy it for me to make it make sense. He's the same way. And, I mean, come on. We got yeah, two overall shows. You're a big Louis guy? I said, oh, you're a big designer guy? And you're like, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> but hey, Two overall wins with this guy, a couple class wins. Every single show we've done together, we win. Yeah, we so I say, nothing but dubs. This is well deserved. Get him some Louis belt. They got the drip. Got the drip now. And then no we got there. some real drip. We got some shirts right here. I mean, that shirt's hard. That goes crazy. I saw you walk up to it first. I was like, damn, I can't get it. Black and red. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one. This one's crazy. Boom, right there. Who's on that? Is it NASCAR? Let's see, who's this? Number 44. 44. Um, Overdrive. It's just a cool shirt, man. I'm not redneck enough to know this. <laughs> and then finally, just got some new balances. Bang. Gotcha. We, hey, here's a philosophy. These are now souvenirs 
for Tampa. So every time I wear those glasses, it's like, hey, that reminds me of that trip from Tampa yeah. where we won our pro card again. again. <laughs> Come on. Sense. Make it make sense. That's how you gotta make it make sense. Meal number four going down the hatch. We have right here chicken and a lot of white rice. This is the moment. This is a turning point. So coming off of last show, I obviously had some food after. You're gonna see by the Buckeye Brownie video at the end of this one. But I was feeling very watery for the entire week. Literally up until now, I think is the turning point in my physique where I'm literally starting to tighten up again, water is depleting. So with that, we are getting, I guess you could say rewarded with a little bit more rice. So this is gonna be a lot more rice than we've had for meals one through three. And I'm excited to chow down on this. So we're gonna get to eat and we'll show y'all what we do next. All righty guys, the time is currently 6.45. We just wrapped up at the gym. We got a few clips. I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. But we got back to the crib and we have a large serving of rice. 10 ounces to be exact, all right? That's the most rice I've ever gotten. So I guess, hey, we looking pretty nice. We're looking good, we're on track. Uh, that was actually the first time we've worked out one, two days out. We typically take two rest days leading up to the show. So really curious to see how we're gonna look with that. But again, 10 ounces of rice. We also get some peanut butter, so this meal is about to slap. I cannot wait to down this meal right here. Man, guys, what an exciting, eventful day, and I'm so glad I documented the entire thing and got to take y'all along the ride for everything that I ate, did in Tampa Bay, Florida, two days out from my show. We got the new Louis Vuitton glasses. These are hyper here, I'll take them off for a more serious note. But meal number six for the day, coach said we get another meal of 10 ounces of rice, which again, like I said last meal, is the most amount of rice we have eaten throughout this entire prep in a single meal. So that tells me that we're responding pretty good. Body's looking pretty good. Um, so that is going to conclude the video of what I ate two days out. We got freaking one more day tomorrow and then we compete for the final show of the season. 2024 season has been a movie. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed, y'all know what to do. I always forget to say this mid video and I know not a lot of people make it to the end, but if you did, you is a real one. Go ahead and like the video for your boy, subscribe, you know what to do. That is gonna conclude Big J. I'm gonna enjoy this last meal of the day and then we are gonna get some good night's rest. We'll see y'all on stage in two days. Peace out.